Hi, DataBem here. Today we're going to create a mock data set, which is a, a very useful thing to do when you want to test some new functionality in Excel, or you want to be able to manipulate and alter some data and test some functionality without actually using any original data. This can be uh, useful when you're wanting to have many, many rows of data without actually typing the data in yourself. So first of all, you want to go to a website called mockaroo.com. And when you go to this website, you will see uh, a number of options appear. So this is mockaroo.com, the realistic data generator. It's already got some options filled in. So you can see here you have ID, first name, last name, email, and gender. Uh, but for this example, we'll say that we want just name and address data. So first you can remove some of the options here. So we're going to remove ID and email and gender. And you'll see that there's also some options for each row too. So you can see there's a blank with a 0%. This just means how much of the data you want to be blank. So if you produce 100 rows and you click and you type 10% blank data, 10% of that of the first names would be blank. There's also an FX button here as well. This is for uh, creating uh, or manipulating the field that comes out. So for example, if you had a result which always came out with the name Ben and you wanted to concatenate this to become Benjamin, then you could use this FX functionality to append uh, extra text onto the end. But for our purposes, this is quite an advanced feature and we're not going to use it here. So click add another field and you'll see it adds another row automatically. So we're going to go for a uh, first line address here. Or in fact, we'll call it address line one. And then you want to click on the type option here. And this is where you get the wealth of different information when it comes to the categories that you can choose. So we want location and you can see here we have a number of options for uh, location here and the closest one for what we're after here is street address so we'll click on that and that looks good so we'll add another field and we'll call this city and then click on the option again and we'll have a look for the one that matches this so we've got city here and then we'll add another field and we'll call this uh, postcode. So uh, we've got an option for postal code as well, which is here. And I think that's enough information for addresses for the time being. So if you scroll down, you can see the number of rows that you want to produce. In the free version of Mockaroo, you can only produce a maximum of, of 1000 rows. But this, this is better than the other options that are out there on the internet at the moment. And you can choose what format that you want this download to be in. So in our case, uh, CSV would work, but you've got other options such as uh, JSON, uh, XML, and a number of other formats as well. For our purposes, we'll actually choose Excel for this option and click download data. And we've chosen to download 1000 rows. And that's downloaded pretty quickly. So if we then open the result and we'll see here uh, all the data that we've, we've requested. So we've got first name, last name, address line one, city and postcode, just as we've uh, asked for here. So a control shift down just to check the number of rows and we can see we've got all the rows that we need there. So you can then do with this data whatever you want. So I'm actually going to copy it and paste it into another uh, document. So actually here, and then you can do anything you want with the data. In this case, I will turn this into a table by doing insert table and clicking my table has headers. And there we go, we've got a thousand rows of randomized but realistic looking data which you can do many uh, different uh, functionalities on or test things in Excel or use this data 
uh, and this table however you wish. So that's how to create mock data in Excel. Have fun.